triple break point opening game. Game on Kadas. He's only won two points in two service games, and it seems like that's going to be an all-night problem. Match won by Dan Evans over Karin Hachinoff. Five hours and 35 minutes, and it was a hot day. And that beats... In, in the top 10 with po the possible exception of okay. Novak Djokovic. Two best volleyers in men's tennis currently, yeah. in my opinion, at that level. Dan Evans has a beautiful volley, coincidentally. No kidding. Um, but Alcaraz... When this kid showed up, everyone was calling him Carlitos, because that's what his family called him. He was theirs. to the 21-year-old Spaniard, Carlos Alcaraz. Not gonna get a lot of aces, it's the serve plus one. <laughs> That's gonna see that, and two's been taking such good care of his serves in this second set. Love, third set. Is here. Tell me. Akava. Akava, that's how they say it it's in Akava. Australia? Yeah. Akava. Uh, that's how I've been told, babe. You've done a they lot of Australian it. television. Oh, such a good game. I'll get us. You're about to save it. Trick. Exactly. Game two. New balls, please. Back on serve. and using that 
Tremendous all-court sensibility. That volley just firm enough. Nothing wrong with that point from the Aussie there, but the first set point, oh. that was a mistake to try. Thank you. Yeah, these missed serves and double faults. Game. There are down in the low bowl where it's a little bit more in the eye line of where the ball might be for the players. so helpful for someone like Alcaraz. Best of five, more time to get out of a rut, more time to make an opponent with less experience feel the pressure and have to perform at a high level. Still a hangover effect from the Olympic Games and, and the crowded schedule this year. said he's got he, 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 he would have loved the Olympics he would have loved watching all the other sports but he wanted to put together a good hard court somebody wanted to come in here feeling good First tournament starts on the 29th of December. Fifteen long. mandatory tournaments. The Canadian Open finals will take place midweek on a Wednesday night. Cincinnati will start on a Thursday, so it's one less week on the road for the players. Okay. What a pick up. Game okay. Alcaraz. And two as well. <laughs> he has been tacking him on. Third set point for Carlos. Game. Third set. There it is. Alcaraz. You know, the WTA would call him up, good old Peachy Kelmar, and say, look, uh, Martinez uh, out. Can you can you play Detroit? And Chrissy would say yes. Peruse that yeah, subject. We'll, we should have it fixed by like Thursday. I'll, I'll try and do some research by then. Anyway. <laughs> this guy looks like he's going to still be in the tournament by Thursday. Yeah. That's when the, the second round will take place. Trying to reel off another game here in a row. He's Game of got out. Nice. Parents should be pretty proud. Obviously, his father still his brother, orthopedic surgeon. Mm -hmm. And a professional tennis player, that's, that's not too bad.
He said, leave nothing out there. Switch it around. has had to learn best performance at the U.S. Open for Alcaraz, but an important one. He's underway, having lost his opening match in the preceding tournament in Cincinnati. 